here 2v2 faction battle tournament this is a quarterfinals game one ashes of typhon blue team for the orcs it's two mech boys first up is tolali and alongside is tex these guys are teleporting commanders that fight in range combat good dps can also support disrupt build structures and repair got just 600 hit points on these guys red team for the space marines codex is a force commander offensive melee quite versatile though can tank disrupt and support with buffs and alongside is Dark Recruits, Apothecary Support Commander that fights in melee combat by default, can get a ranged weapon, begins with a targeted heal and a passive health regeneration aura. Ashes of Typhon in, a reasonably large 2v2 map since it comes all the way over to this eastern edge and this contested wreck point. None of the VPs natural running east to west. Mech Boy having a look at the western, looks like he is going to try and cap it. Force Commander alongside Tactical Marines and is a usual opening. Double shooters for the Orcs and Tactical Marines for both Space Marine players. Orcs piling in on his side. Twilight using his mech boy to teleport in and tie up these Tactical Marines. And they might lose a model here. There's the battle cry from the Force Commander. He'll do special attacks for 10 seconds and buff nearby allies with each special attack he makes. 500, 496, a single cap for the Orcs early on and Codex forced off the east side if you don't have double scouts it's very difficult to win that first engagement versus Orcs Mechboy teleports back to Cap and this node is going down meanwhile west side Brother Kerry in retreat looks like he will just about get away from those sluggers just 600 hit points on this guy especially low for a melee commander 500 477 Tactical Marines get away without a loss. Scouts backed off but kept in play for now and stopped to engage the Sluggers trying to get a model off them. Only lost one model so far. Scouts lose one and might lose another in retreat. Yes they do. Might lose the squad in fact and does lose the squad. Dark Riku just misjudging that engagement slightly and pays for it with a squad loss. Kicking off still on the east side. Force Commander back in play. But it's going to go down to that shooter boy fire. Look at the DPS those guys do. That is awesome. Tactical Marines also losing a model. So both Space Marine players losing their scouts. That's not a good start. Get some Assault Marines up. Both of them. Tactical Marines trying to stay in play. Mech Boy comes to tie them up though. So those shooters can do their damage freely. Have big shooters on both squads. And Tactical Marines running away. Looks like the Orc players quite confident of victory after their impressive start. Storm Boys on the way for Twilight. That's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. Dark Riku has his Assault Marines and replaces his Scouts. And I think Codex might want to too when he sees the Storm Boys. Assault Marines jumping in, disrupting all of this stuff. Double Shooters and the Mech Boy all disrupted Shooter Boys. Retreat and Mech Boy just teleports out and strides away. There's a triple cap for the Orcs early on. Codex is replacing his scouts in fact. Tactical Marines getting suppressed by aiming what's that. You can't deal damage while you do aiming what's that. But it is on demand instant suppression. There's the heal on his Tactical Marines from the Apothecary. He's almost level 2. How has he managed that? Force Commander is not. And Tolali's mech is already level 2. Has the battery pack up. Allow him to support with heals. Can support these Storm Boys. Stormboy is jumping in, these guys have power melee weapons and Assault Marines instantly fleeing from that engagement and Codex saving perhaps a model loss with his Assault Marines running in. Sorry, jumping in, just saw a battery pack heal on the Stormboys. Still chasing his Assault Marines and in goes the Apothecary, Stormboys instantly turn to engage him trying to put pressure on the Apothecary which you have to do when you face one gets his heal on Codex's Assault Marines and retreats out. There's another battery pack heal. They must both have it. There we go. Tex again opting for the Daka 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 Big Shooter which I think we saw in the first game from him. In the first game of the first round I mean. Assault Squad run away but do not lose a model for Codex. Orcs though keeping up the pressure. What is this? It's Scouts on the west side taking damage from that big shooter this thing pouring out the DPS almost 35 477 303 and scouts lost two models there 
sluggers with flamers. Going after those tactical marines, the flamers, the burners, I should say, gives them a couple of power melee weapons and flamers, of course. 468303, shooter boys with a knob leader up for Twilali. Assault marines jumping in. Space marines need a bit more field presence, I feel. Up against storm boys and double shooters pouring in all this DPS supported by the mechs. I'm not sure if tactical marines and assault marines is going to be enough just to get around the map and cap and engage all at once. Brother Kerry going for his master crafted bolt up. Is it worth it to get devastators and look after them with Scott shotgun scouts? Dark Riku usually tends to use his scouts to cap a lot. Codex, on the other hand, tends to keep his around for the engagements. He is sending them out to the east side, I think, to cap this uncapped wreck point. 466288 is a one to one. And Space Marines will take the mid. Tactical Marines cap in faster than usual. Storm Boys up for both. These guys should be absolutely devastating with those power melee weapons. Being caught here by Assault Marines, but they turn to engage them. There's the suppression from Amy. What's that? These guys need to jump out. There we go. Don't lose the model, and they'll be okay. Gonna get a heal. There we go. Not giving up the chase, though. The Orcs. 455288. There's a double cap for the Space Marines. And Tolali losing the Shooter Boy squad. His Storm Boy's in trouble as well. Look at this. Might get wiped. They get a heal as they retreat, which saves them. Quick thinking from Twilali. That flame up doing some serious damage, it seems. Power Sword Force Commander in there as well, giving a 15% buff now with this Power Sword when he uses Battlecry. So he can stack that up to 45% reasonably easily. And when you have that effect in this area of effect flame up, stuff dies quick. Triple cap for the Space Marines now, and they're hitting power. This could be an awesome comeback. Storm boys back in off mid. These are Texas Storm boys. I think they're gonna go and try and help out the east side. 392, 288. Tier 2 for Riku, tier 2 for both of the Orcs. Codex, not far off, has a little less power because he got shotguns on his scouts and kitted out his force to mind with two pieces of war gear, alacrity and the power sword. Puffy with that master crafted bolt up. Was that a good choice, the master crafted bolt up? Suppose you can use it to disrupt the mechs so they won't be able to get off this heal. 384, 287, we'll see. I would have gone for the Sanguine Chainsword, tried to get in amongst the Orcs while keeping his Apothecary alive. Dark Creepy, though, obviously a much better Apothecary player than I am. Mech Boy now decapping this power, and his power is going to completely go down, I think. Tex sweeping over to the side to help that power bash. And the Orcs suddenly have a triple cap again. 384, 255. Razorback on the way for Dark Riku. Twilight goes for a Death Dread. Tex doesn't look like it's got anything lined up for Tier 2, judging by his resources. Codex engaging two armies here. This could be a big mistake. There's a shotgun blast. Stormboy is jumping in on the tactical marines, tying them up so they can't shoot that flamer. And doing tons of damage, he's going to lose that tactical marine squad, I think. Those sluggers. Sluggers are what? Or pistols are called. Don't do a lot of damage, so those tactical marines do get away. One more hit and they would have gone down. 384, 209. has wiped Codex's scouts though. That was a really bad engagement for him. Should not have stayed in it against two players. It's not always easy to know when you're up against two armies though, especially if they're using the same faction and do not have, obviously, different colour schemes at a glance. 384, 187. Orcs jumping into the Assault Marines and these guys have their knob lead up which means that they stun when they jump and that guy is super mean, he has heavy melee damage and does a hell of a lot of it and has about 300 hit points as well. Burners and bits on a Death Dread. Tex losing a Shoot Boy squad also and is going to hit 3. Here's the Razorback for Dark Riku support vehicle for Space Marines allows you to reinforce and transport infantry with a twin linked heavy bolter on top. Tactical Marines decapping east and scouts capping mid, there it is. Not going to get a triple though I don't think because sluggers are decapping west here come scouts I think just to harass them. Do not have shotguns so need to be careful, no not even going to harass them. 371, 176 they're going to come back and try and get this power back which has been noded by the Orcs. 
and east side is kept uncapped as well. Tolali coming back out to fend off the Space Marines there. Assault Marines generally don't want to fight Storm Boys alone in Tier 2, but when they have support, they can go into them. With a missile launcher up for Codex's space, tactical Space Marines to put pressure on the Death Dread. Where is the Death Dread now? He's backing off of the mid. 364168 single cap for the orcs. Tex hitting tier 3 now. We could see a knob squad reasonably soon. We could see flash kits very soon. Looks like he wants some looted tanks though. 364162, there's the one to one. Probably informing him that they've got double missile launchers. No, they don't. They only have one. He's mistaken there, but they do have double. Melter bombs, 358162. Twanali asking for knobs. Sluggers in retreat, should be okay. Don't have their knob leader, but the burners gives them, I think it's 15% more hit points. Doesn't mention it in the tooltip, but I promise you they do. 336162. Razorback now trying to hit this node. Still can't get it back. Burners a bit death dread, getting repairs from the mech boy, the battery pack. And also heal vehicles, giving in essence an instant repair. But look at this engagement on the east side, kicking off Dark Recruit jumping in. Is a submarine storm boys losing their knob leader and losing three more models as well? That's painful. Totally seeing the funny side of that engagement. How much does it cost to reinforce storm boys? I'm not sure. 313162 mech boy comes mid. This is Tex Calibers. And Orcs take the west side as well. Looks like the Space Marines are trying to stick together here. Storm Boys are 40 and 3 to reinforce. 310, 162. Going after the Death Dread with that missile launcher. And we do have double missile launchers now. Storm Boys jumping in. Going after the Apothecary. He's level 3. Fully kitted out. Armor of Purity. Improved medical equipment and a plasma cannon is up for Dark Recruit and he gets some more scouts. 310, 162. Got the Caribbean chased. This is dangerous. But here are his assault marines to save him. Nicely judged by Dark Recruit and he killed a bunch of storm boys as well. Well, three anyway. Plasma cannon was set up. Artillery squad. Doesn't cost any power, just a big boon to Space Marines. They can get an artillery squad on the field quite quickly in tier 2. A very good one as well. Just 400 rec, but look at this. Here's a knob squad using their frenzy from Mina and Greena. Have their huge ammers already and are now getting a knob leader. That is crazy. Fully upgraded knob squad before the Space Marines even think about going tier 3. 310, 153. Stormboy is jumping in but losing models as they do so and they're going to wipe I think. Those are Twilalees, down they go. Knob Squad also retreat out, I'm um, not sure about this now. Twilali losing a bunch of stuff, he is tier 3 though also. 310, 129, there's a triple cap for the Orcs. It's not out of reach for the Space Marines, certainly not. These two lonely Shooter Boy models, what are they up to? Tactical Marines trying to chase them down but give up the chase. Tactical Marines here with their sergeant. Do Rikus have a sergeant? I can't tell, they're inside the Razorback. He's trying to deliver them to take down that Death Dread. Can they get a shot off? They can, but it's not enough. Can these guys get a Melter Bomb off? That might be enough. 310, 88, looks like they're not going to risk it. And a Death Dread uses. No, this might be not be the ability. That is the global for the Mech Boy, increasing speed and. The reload rate of vehicle weapons, really good. I think it's Cult of Speed, it's called. Stormboy is jumping in. 310, 79. Stormboy is immediately retreating out. Look at this little space marine blob we've got. Following around the Razorback, being constantly supported by all of this stuff from reinforce of it, of course. This is nasty. Orcs need to split up. 310, 74. They have the 2 to 1 anyway. There's a heal on those tactical marines. Down goes the power eventually. 310, 70. Riku now wants some VPs back, I think. Scouts decap mid, but here come tactical means they should leave it to the tax since they will do it faster. 
Mechboy puts up his custom force field to disrupt and there we go. Getting them off the cap with it and gets away too. That is annoying. 310, 61. Knob squad on the field for both players now. But we have a dreadnought for both Space Marine players. That is very interesting. Can they disrupt and DPS down on knobs with those dreadnoughts? Tactical Marines level 3 for Codex. Assault squad run away. These guys level 2. There's a plasma cannon shot. Boom. A lot of damage to that death dread. Mech boys level 3. Both mech boys, of course, with that battery pack. They can support their knob squads with it. 310, 61. What's to this? Knob squad going after tactical marines with frenzy up, but there is the Emperor's Fist disruption. Frenzy does not stop you from being knocked on your face, and now frenzy has worn off. And there's Angels of Death, 50% reduction in damage and immunity to knockback for 15 seconds. A great mobile that the apothecary has. Dreadnought getting repairs, putting that 100 heavy melee DPS onto that knob squad. And they retreat out, looks like they didn't lose their knob leader and only lost a single model. Knob squad here are very, very durable as well. 310, 61, still a one to one cap. Stormboy is jumping all over the place, might lose the squad here. There's the inspiration from that dreadnought melee kill, but the Stormboys do get away. 310, 56. Here's the knob squad of Twilight League. Codex's dreadnought backing off, doesn't quite have to back up that Riku's just did. Should be okay, but the Nob Squad are still chasing here. There's the Emperor's Fist. And Dreadnought turns to engage. This is a risk. This is a big risk. He's counting on support from Riku, I think. They should have... He should have kept going. Here come Assault Squad to disrupt. There was a heal from the Mech Boy, but this Dreadnought is going to go down, is it? There's Frenzy, and down it goes. Codex should have kept that thing backing off. Big plasma cannon hit. 310, 13. What is this? Space Marines or a drop pod? It is a drop pod. But only reinforces a single scout. That was not worth it. Tactical. Oh, I was trying to save his tactical Marines and the tactical Marines went down as well. Wow. 310, 6. Knob squad going absolutely ballistic. Level 2 now. Texas still level 1. Poor squad are really missing his Thunderhammer right now. Using his sprint to get over to the east side. And Plasma Cannon on the way for Codex. Riku still has his Dreadnought now with the Assault Cannon. Looters on the field for Tex. In retreat though, there's 303 and 5. The Space Marines with a single cap. Looks like they're going to take the east as well. And the Assault Cannon Barrage does friendly fire to the Assault Squad of Codex level 3 but Space Marines do retain mid and they might get a triple here Riku's Tactical Marines want to take over this cap Mr. Apothecary leave it there's the double Orcs now hitting mid again Stormboy is jumping after the Razorback been awesome Razorback play from Riku pretty much kept them in the game throughout tier 2 but now Knob Squad going off this Dreadnought and this is not a melee Dreadnought anymore so it doesn't have splash damage and doesn't have Emperor's Fist Still does 73 DPS, I believe it is, with one close combat arm. It's going to go down here, though. That momentum from those huge jammers is so powerful. Down goes that Dreadnought. There's the double cap for the Space Marines. Scouts in there. Top squad is backed off. I think those scouts chucked a grenade there. Sort squad jumping out. Plasma cannon getting tied up and retreats. 226. Five. There's a 2 to 1 for the Space Marines. Orcs are decapping mid though. Can they hold up these Space Marines for long enough to finish the 2 to 1 and take the first game? Battle Wagon on the way for Twilight League. Knob Squad killing a couple of Assault Marines. These guys need to run away. Razorback survives. Where is it? It's mid. There's the GG from Tex. There's a single cap for the Orcs. Looks like they're going to get the west as well. Something's decapping the east, but it's too late anyway. They win with that single cap, 218 VPs. A poor start from the Space Marines, but they did come back very strongly with some awesome Razorback play and those double Dreadnoughts. If they just kept those Dreadnoughts together and forced off the knobs of them, could have been very different, but great play from the Orcs. Going to Tier 3 very fast in Tex Calibur's case, and the knobs did what they do best, 
and smack stuff good. So they take the first game and I'll see you in the next one guys.